dear viewers welcome to my youtube channel today i shall discuss about electrical surge due to lightning use of surge resistor in a substation and transmission line lightning resistor and its different parts etc in a nutshell i know it is a very tough job to discuss all about the lighting resistors at this small space despite of this i am trying to my best to present about with a view to draw your curious attention for learning the same and i shall be grateful if you like and recognize my little endeavor please watch at the starting of the subject we have to know what is lightning the large spark accompanied by light produced by an abrupt discontinuous discharge of electricity through the air from the clouds generally under turbulent conditions of atmosphere is called lightning the clouds get charged during thunderstorm and the high potential gradient causes failure of insulation of the air which produces a lightning stroke the stroke tries to hit the earth power transmission lines and associated equipments in the substation are subjected to over voltages or surge voltages which are generally due to lightning strikes a lightning strikes is an electrical discharge in the form of huge spark that may occur in air between the clouds between a cloud and earth or between different charges on the same cloud when lightning discharges on a transmission line it may have a current in the range of 10 kilohertz to 100 kilohertz which induces a voltage of the order of 1 million volts in the form of traveling wave a stroke occurs due to sudden changes in charges of cloud if cloud 1 suddenly discharges to cloud 2 there is a sudden change on cloud 3 a discharge between cloud 3 and earth is called a stroke such stroke does not hit earth conductor so no protection can be provided to the overhead line against this stroke another stroke that is direct stroke occurs between cloud and earth when a statically induced positively charged accumulated on the sharp point of the lighting rod each point of ground wire of a tower line there is a negatively charged stroke are attracted by these positively charged earth wire in absence of earth wire the lightning stroke would strike the line conductors earth wire do not provide 100% protection the voltage due to the stroke being of the order of several million volts would cause insulators flash over puncture and shatter the wave would reach the substation and produce stress on equipment insulation if these are not protected by suitable resistor 
in time now come to the point what is an electrical surge a surge on an electrical system is an energy created by the impression of lightning strike or switching operation that travels throughout the system in the form of wave with speed and magnitude reaches to the substation affects line insulators resulting in flashover or puncture and insulation of the equipment is also stressed hence it is necessary to provide protection for equipments at stations or substation against the traveling waves caused by lightning such protection can be provided by following measures use of overhead shielding wire use of lightning mast use of lighting arrester or surge arrester let us imagine a vertical line ab both side of this line ab lines ac and ad are drawn at an angle alpha across the earth wire this angle alpha may be 30 degree to 40 degree which we may call shielding angle protection of insulation from lighting surge is generally wanted within this protective zone the zone acts as an umbrella what is a lighting arrester or surge arrester a lighting arrester or surge arrester is an equipment which discharge current impulse surge occurs due to lightning or switching operation to earth and dissipates energy in the form of heat and thus protects the installation of electrical system the purpose of la lightning arrester is to discharge over voltage to earth and thus prevent service interruption and damage to station equipments stations connected over a transmission lines are exposed to over voltage generated during the thunderstorm these voltages may cause damages to station equipment to protect this valuable equipment lighting arrestors are installed between line and earth near the equipments to discharge the over voltage to earth
difference between lighting arrester and surge arrester the primary function of lighting arresters is to defend the electrical appliances from outside and so they are installed at outside the home or business the main function of surge arresters is to protect several kinds of electrical appliances from inside the home the surge arresters have to be installed within the main panel board inside home working principle of gapless lightning arrester the resistive disks in zinc oxide arrester housed in a hollow full length porcelain insulator are made up of grains of zinc oxide sintered with flux of insulation oxide such as bismuth oxide along with other materials like cobalt oxide manganese dioxide chromium oxide the resistor blocks offer low resistance to high voltage charge when a surge wave traveling along the overhead line comes to arrestor the surges are absorbed by zinc oxide element thereby the insulation of protected installation is not subjected to the full impulse during the phenomena surge arrester does not create any short circuit and retains the residual voltage across the terminals after discharging the impulse wave to earth the resistor blocks offer a very high resistance to the normal power frequency voltage and acts as open circuit and remain ready for subsequent charge suppression this is an image of a two stack lighting arrester more stack may be used on voltage consideration similar single stack operated voltage is used for formation of multi stack as per requirement This is grading ring not corona discharging ring Use of grading rings on arrester is done to equalize voltage distribution along its vertical axis The voltage distribution allows the arrester to operate without an increase in its temperature near the top of the arrester the lower temperature level allows the arrester to absorb more energy during a switching surge event moreover it prevents flash over of insulator household during high voltage discharge the grading ring in effect though used in extra high voltage beyond 98 kV increases the energy handling capability of the arrester
the surge diverters or lighting resistors are located very close to the equipment to be protected because of the lighting surge occurring near the terminals of the equipment may enter into the circuit before the lighting resistor operates the first apparatus open incoming lines and last one for outgoing lines so that high voltage incoming surge have to face first the lighting resistor to be arrested near terminals on hv and lv side of each transformer between phase and earth between tertiary terminals and earth of each phase of tertiary winding of the transformer This is the image of a lighting resistor. Upper terminal is connected with phase to be protected from lightning and switching surge. The base of lower part of the LA is connected at the bushing of a surge monitor. by 35 square mm 1100 volts graded on armored pvc insulated copper cable of 2 meter length the lower terminal of the monitor is connected with earthing flat raised form earth pit specially made only for earthing purpose of the said delay flat riser length will be within 2 meters to monitor the healthiness of the lightning resistor each resistor shall be provided with surge monitor the monitor records directly the number of surge handled by the lighting resistor on a cyclometric counter and also indicate the leakage current passing through the LA on an ammeter by a pointer the pointer position 
within green zone indicates healthiness of the la when the indicator reaches to either yellow or red zone the la needs proper treatment or needs removal from service after due testing etc the design of surge meter shall be such that in eventually of its failure the la base should automatically be connected to our system for this purpose a connection from arister bottom to the surge monitor bushing and surge monitor body to the station ground is required to be connected the connecting lead from arister bottom to surge monitor bushing does not touch the structure of the grounded object causes of deterioration of condition of lighting arister during its period of service moisture ingress due to ceiling problem aging of zinc oxide variations dust particle on external surface cracks on porcelain surface internal partial discharge to avoid the failure of la it is necessary to monitor its health because if a lighting arrester fails it explodes with porcelain splinters and apart from creating a short circuit it also mechanically damage the other in normal service a metal oxide lighting arrester carries a small leakage current continuously in the range of 0.1 to 2 milliampere the leakage current is dominated by a capacitive current component the resistive component may be in the range of 5 to 25% of the capacitive component the metal oxide arresters moas are normally operated at a continuous voltage ranging 70% to 80% of rated voltage the lightning arresters with resistive leakage currents in between 350 to 500 microampere should be closely monitored and beyond 500 microampere should be replaced after due testing condition monitoring of la by leakage current analyzer condition monitoring of lightning arresters ls by leakage current analyzer at switch yard needs not any shutdown the system is based on the measurement of third harmonic resistive current with compensation for harmonic in the system voltage it provides quick and reliable information about the health of the lighting arrester accessories of lca leakage current analyzer leakage current transformer 
एल सी टी द लीकेज करेंट ट्रांसफर्मार एल सी टी इज कनेक्टेड एक्रस दि आर्दिंग स्ट्रीप अब द लाइटनिंग एड स्टार टू मेजर दि टोटल लीकेज करेंट फ्लोईंग थ्रू दि एल ए डिस एंटीना प्रोब डी ए पी द डिस एंटीना प्रोब डी ए पी इज प्लेसड एट दि बेस अब द लाइटनिंग एड स्टार टू पिक अप दि हारमोनिक्स इन दि सिसटेम वोल्टेज देयर बै गिविंग दि कैपासिटी कम्पोनेंट अब द लीकेज कारेंट टेलिस्कोपिक हट स्टिक टीएच एस द टेलिस्कोपिक हट स्टिक टीएच एस इज यूज टू प्लेस दि डीएपी एट दि बेस अब दि लाइटिंग एंड स्टेयर सीगनल कंट्रोल एंड इंटरफेसिंग यूनिट द मेन मेजारिंग एपरेटस डाटा मैनेजमेंट सफ्टवेयर नट सोन द लीकेज कारेंट एनालजार एल सी ए मेजार्स डायरेक्टलि एंड डिसप्लेज दि फलोईंग पैरामिटार्स वाइल टेस्टिंग एल ए इन ए चार्ज सुइचयार्ड